Here's to hoping this is another one of those hidden gem series that we tend to have here on the channel. What's up, guys, and welcome to Mr. Prepper. This is another one of those random Steam games we play. Mr. Prepper is about being prepared. Whoever wrote this deserves a, a Pulitzer for that. Uh, you know something is wrong. The risk of a nuclear war is in the air, and you need to get ready for what's coming. It's got a bunch of great reviews. Seemed kind of interesting. You know, nuclear war, holocaust, that sort of thing. I, Sometimes doesn't seem like it's that far away, so we'll we'll see what happens here. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Day one, save one. Ever since the plague and the change of the government, this town has been unbearable, lifeless, filled only with boredom, propaganda, and control. I've tried to escape, and I've failed this time. But I'll find a way. They call me. Mr. Prepper. <laughs> that's really... That's really what you go by. Like, you, your friends, your family, neighbors. Mr. Prepper. Alright, here we go. We are back at your place of residence, citizen. For an attempted escape, we have confiscated your vehicle. This is standard procedure. Obviously, you are also prohibited from buying or registering a new one. The agency expresses hope that you will not attempt to leave Murricaville. Again, Murricaville. Ha, huh. sure. Now I plan to fall back in love with this beautiful town. This is a commendable attitude, citizen. From today onwards, you are also on probation. I will come for a brief inspection regularly to check for any subversive actions or items. This is standard procedure. I am sure you will comply. My visits will only be a formality. Bless the president. Bless. Okay. So we've got a, a government regime that's bearing down on us. Big governments trying to control what we do when we are not going to let them do that. Here we go. This is a tutorial. Let me show you around. Sounds good to me. We can we can move the camera. And then we can move Mr. Prepper around by clicking around on the different things. Okay, this is interesting. Can we go in through the door here? Oh, you can double click to run. Nice. Never know when you got to be prepared quickly. If you're tired, you deserve a nap. So I'm going to say nap. We're going to go in, up the stairs. Come on out through this door. We've got our ultimate plan here. Short nap. Sounds good to me. Looks like we've got our health health bar up top. Obviously, try to run from the lock. Kind of took it out of us a little bit. Got to get our energy back. Looks like this is how you kind of skip time, too. So we're going to go eat something. Let's uh, go ahead and open up our uh, our fridge. Looks like our health is looking a little bit low, so gotta gotta make it work. If we double click, we can run. Beautiful. Now we can open it. I guess take take all. Okay. How do we eat it? How do we eat it? I'm not sure. Bring up our inventory. Eat. Beautiful. This is your preparedness right there. Want to make sure you keep ah. It's your most valuable stat. If it drops to zero, you will faint. <laughs> Stay well fed and well rested to keep it high. So I'm imagining we're going to want to... I think we're going to want to move move all this stuff over. I would I would, I would, would think. Deposit all. Yeah, we're going to want to keep it cold for now. Uh, check your new escape plan, which is going to be up here. Let's go read this. See what we've got going on. Go ahead and get a move on it up there. Beautiful. Let's check this out. Hmm. Goal number one is to survive. Goal number two is to escape. Build the first room of my bunker. All right, so it looks like underneath our living room is gonna be our bunker, so let's go downstairs. So how are we gonna do this? Build it. Just casually digging up the foundation underneath our home. Works for me, but we're gonna have, you know, have to watch out for Mr. Government before he ends up coming back. All right, so we've got that. Need to craft a ladder for your bunker. First, uncover your trusty workbench. We've got a workbench in the backyard. Prepper's best friend. Craft, disassemble, and work magic. Metal and wood. Start with buying eight units of metal. Okay, so we're not actually going to be able to use this yet. We're going to have to go out here and buy things with our mailbox. Time for some trading. Make an order. Collect it in two hours. That's how it should work. Okay. So we're going to collect on Sergey. Looks like he's got uh, metal pieces for us. $4 each. So we're going to want eight of these bad boys. 
$32. So we've got two minutes to make that happen. Go to the forest and find some wood. Dude, this is way more intense than I thought. Okay, we're gonna go to the forest. So we are allowed to leave the house. We can walk around, we can do our thing. Let's check this out. I'm gonna inspect this. Looks like this is a log here, yep. Let's grab that. Deer in the background and stuff too. Grab the logs and get out of here. Let me grab that. And then I'm hoping we're gonna be able to find another one, which is gonna be off over here to the right. Let's go ahead and grab that as well. We're gonna be able to get out of here. It's a little bit different than a typical, you know, survival style game that we play, but uh, it doesn't, doesn't make it any worse. Just kind of a new thing to get used to. All right, so we've got our, our wood. We're gonna wanna disassemble, or we've got the logs. We wanna disassemble them to be able to get the wood. Alright, so that's the first one, here's the second one, and here's the third one. You guys can see we are kind of losing daylight here, which is kind of cool. Three out of three logs have been disassembled. So we've got our wood, now we're going to go back over, we're going to grab our supplies that we ordered. All this just to make a ladder to be able to get down to our, our, our second thing. Alright, let's see what we've got going on here. So we're going to take all of our metal, imagining we're going to want to run all the way back to our workbench. And then we're going to want to make this ladder. So let's go ahead and craft. I guess we've got to get workbench level 1 to be able to craft it first. Now we're going to be able to make a ladder with 3 metal. So let's go ahead and select that. Craft it. Looks good to me. And then with that, we're going to be able to go back to our thing over here and possibly get down into our bunker. Ah, we're going to put it on this. Okay. Look at that. So now this is going to be our way down. And we can head down here. Hmm. Not too bad. Need to get lamps for your bunker. You need glass to make them. Let's disassemble something at the workbench. So let's go up top here. I guess, uh, what is this over here? It's a white cup. It's a glass. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that. We're going to run over to our workbench. And we're going to disassemble it. Take a look at our wall lamp options. Let's go ahead and craft this. It just takes one piece of glass, which is nice. It's gonna throw that in our inventory and then we're gonna run downstairs and put it on the bunker, baby. Just like this. All right. I mean, we've we've got an underground room. I guess it's good and it, it looks like that's been kind of a long day here. So we're gonna go back up top, catch some shut eye and get ready for day number two. All right, next morning, uh, agent will come soon. You need to hide or grab suspicious items and open the door for him. Okay, uh, this this is suspicious. Uh, we can turn it. Uh, nice. Okay, beautiful. We got to get downstairs. We're gonna have to hide this. Oh gosh, room inspection based on Security and Wellness Act. Let me uh, let me let me grab this. It's not a good time for that. How do I hide this? Cover it. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we've got that. We've got um. We've got this this guy back here. I'm going to grab this. We're just going to keep it in our pocket. Are, is the gasoline okay? It looks like the gasoline's okay. All right, let's go. We're going to go open up the door for him. Oh, we've got like a timer on it too. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Thank you for uh, for joining me in my humble abode. Bless the president. For all citizen security and well-being, bless the president. All right. This is standard procedure. I feel like that's kind of a little bit sketchy there. Keeping one's home tidy is standard and beneficial for all the citizens of Murrickville in the country. Hmm. Legality inspection is underway. Oh, you do your thing, sir. You were gonna find nothing wrong here. Dude, that's that's smart. So we've got the, the poster on the back side of our, our planning board. He's not gonna suspect anything. Don't check my browser history. Seems very decent at first glance. Let's see the details. Going back downstairs. Luckily, we covered this up. He has no idea we have a secret bunker underneath his feet right now. Got a report. Suspicious items. Ooh, okay. Too many barrels. So maybe if we hide one of the barrels, he's going to be coming back on 8-1. He's not, uh... Not lacking any essential items or anything. Alright, that's not bad. So now that that's done, we're going to want to place our workbench in our bunker. We're going to make kind of a little working area down here where we're not going to be interrupted by, uh, by big government. Shoot. We can't place that. Is that, is it because of this? Hold on. Let me, let me grab this. Let's pick up our, our little light here. Let's put this like behind the ladder so it doesn't bother us. And then, yeah, we can 
Put that down right there. Beautiful. All right. It's hidden in our bunker. We're not going to have to keep that in our pocket anymore, which is obviously pretty, pretty, you know, exciting. I don't even have, or I didn't even have time for breakfast. Maybe I should cook something. Okay. Well, let's head up top, see what we've got going on. So we can cook on our little stove here, which isn't bad. Just add some raw ingredients together, apply some heat, and voila, food. Cooking makes your food richer. Okay, so like, for example, a vegetable soup, two carrots, beet, cabbage, water. We could make that. You're gonna get most of your food when you cook it first. To be honest, our health is looking pretty good, so I'm not even that worried about it. Let's take a look at what our journal says. Should start with checking my ultimate plan. All right, so we're gonna go back up top. We're gonna turn this thing around. Let's go ahead and get up there hastily. And uh, let's let's go see, see what we've got going on. Let's go ahead and read this. Establish a food source. Grow some plants in my bunker. I like the sound of that. Need a food source. Time to kick off my underground plantation. The agent would not be happy to see that. Build your uh, basic underground farm. You are going to need five room soil, which can be crafted in the workbench. Five seed bags, which you might find in your home. Seeds could also be bought and trade. Okay, so sounds like, uh, I mean, I already forgot that our workbench was downstairs. So we're going to head down here and let's go ahead and craft. Let me see what we have to do. Soil patches. We're going to need pieces of ground. So we're going to want to craft five of these. Looking pretty good. Gonna use up all the ground we have. We're also gonna need our seed, our, our seeds. It looks like that's just storage. Let me check this. Those are basic bait for traps. Oh, we're gonna be able to trap animals and stuff. That's kind of interesting. We've got money. What kind of seeds are we talking about? Let's head out here, see if we have any, any seeds. I would expect us to keep them outside. We don't really have anything going. Dude, we have so much space underground. This is amazing. We're going to be able to really build this thing out. I don't see anything involving seeds, so I'm guessing we're going to want to go out here and place an order. We have a letter written in beautiful flowery handwriting. I'm going to check this out. Let me go ahead and read that. Uh-oh. Dear neighbor, do you like flowers, herbs, and plants in general? Are you having trouble making friends in the town? Are you tired of urban life and sad men in suits visiting your home? Do you enjoy nature? If any of this is true to you, and I'm sure it is, please come to the forest during the day. You might meet someone friendly. Signed, the local herbalist. All right, so, I mean, it sounds sounds to me like we're going to want to want to head out there. Let's go meet the herbalist. Sounds like she's kind of liking us a bit. We've got a traps area. We've got a roadway pillar. Where do we think we would meet her at? There's blue blueberries all the way down here. I'm going to I'm going to go grab these. Let me just pick these up real quick. Those are going to be useful. Probably should have grabbed those last time we were out here. I think technically, oh, there's more blueberries over here. Let's come over here and grab these. I think into the woods is to the left, so we're going to have to go to the left. We come grab all these. I'm going to grab the wood too. Get that, get this. This is it. We're gonna go meet some sort of a witch in the woods or something like that. I don't know what's going on here, but this is kind of kind of sketchy. This is forest level two. We are getting deep in it. Into the woods is to the left. Let me see what else we've got going on. I mean, I'm I'm thinking we probably want to grab everything we can in each of these levels. Let me let me go check this out. We got plenty of daylight. There's gonna be more stuff over here. Yeah, we're gonna be able to go grab these blueberries and hopefully some more logs and stuff like that. Just running with the deer, no big deal. Is there anything else? We got some blueberries over here. Let's grab these and keep going in. Hopefully we're going to be able to plant some, some blueberry bushes. It's going to be time to go ahead and go in deeper to the woods here. Into level, level three. Okay. Levels one through three. Let me grab these. The signs here, there, everywhere. All, all kinds of weird stuff happening. Come over here. I'm just going to keep grabbing blueberries as we go. Oh. We also have a lever here. Ah. Oh, fudge. I wasn't hiding. I was just picking some berries. Bob, are you okay? Oh, it's an old lady. Bro, what is happening? What is this game? 
Hello, Buttercup. I knew you would come. You seem like a strong and capable young lad. It's been a while since anybody called me young. And you are... Oh, my manners. My name is Jenny. I'm the one who sent you that letter. Sorry for the secrecy, but one cannot be too cautious these days. You usually meet me here around this time. I'm an herbalist. Your contact regarding all plant matters, you could say. People call me Mr. Prepper. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, just Jenny, please. Let me get to the point. I could use your help. See, I have this cozy cabin in the woods, but I can't get there now. It's a really vicious wolf hanging around there constantly. I've tried everything. It didn't fall from my package of poisonous herbs inside of the list's sausage. Could you get rid of it for me? Hmm, a wolf in a cabin in the woods. Is this red hood and a basket required for this mission? You look lovely and bright red, but I'm not the fashion police. Just tell me so I won't have to explain big ears and teeth to anyone. In return, you can take anything you want from the materials left in the cabin. I need to do some resupply soon anyway. Trade with each other. Have a deal? Sounds good to me. I'll deal with the wolf. All right. You hear that, Bob? We'll have our cabin back. Who's Bob? I, I don't see anybody here. Relatively simple lever, maybe to be useful in fixing the ropeway. So we went back home, took a quick little nap there, just because we were getting a little bit tired. I also ate a, a little, you know, canned piece of food. I think this is what we're going to need, the ropeway pillar. Is that what she was talking about? Let me see if we can repair this. So if I take a look, we've got our lever. Yeah, it wants one lever to be able to repair it. Now I believe... We're going to be able to quickly move in between different levels of the thing. Now, if we repair this, what is this going to take? One lever and 15 metal. So we're going to have to kind of work our way up as we go. Shoot. Lever must be somewhere in the forest. I'm going to go ahead and grab whatever we can grab here. But uh, yeah, we're going to be able to work our way up as we go. And, um, you know, continue to fast travel through the forest here. Got to keep in mind to make sure we're always dropping things off. If we drop things off, we're not going to, you know, end up uh, getting too over encumbered or anything. I'm going to eat some blueberries here. Looks like that helps a little bit, but not really all that much. And uh, it's time to go sleep. Let's bring on day three, baby. This is this is interesting. It's, it's different. It's a little bit slower, a little bit different than what I thought, but... Um, it, it's it's still pretty cool. Obviously, once we get the hang of it and get going, I'm sure things will, will start to pick up. Now, there is no way we're going to go walk into a forest and fight some wolves empty-handed. So, let me open this up. I'm going to grab all the logs that we've picked up thus far. Let's head down to our crafting bench. And this is where things might start to get a little bit exciting. So, we're going to disassemble these wood logs that we've been, been collecting over the past you know a couple of days here and we're gonna see i'm pretty sure yeah we can craft the baseball bat for five wood we've got 15 wood on us right now so it's gonna cost a very little bit let's get back up top we're gonna open this up where'd all of our wood go oh i guess the wood stays it stays in the workbench okay that's actually really really nice all right we're gonna go Ooh, we've got somebody out here let me go talk to old girl how you doing which, I mean, wow, you look a little bit creepy, but hey, what's good? Huh. Good day, Mr. Prepper. Bless the president. Hello. Huh. Did you know that Merkville County has one of the most diverse landscapes huh. in the U.S.? Not that I ever feel the need to leave the town, but it's truly remarkable. <laughs> She's creeping me out. Huh. See you next time. Hate to see her go, but you love to see her walk away. All right. Let's head back out to the forest here. We're going to... Oh, shoot. Not not our house. We're going to go out to the forest. Um, we're going to move on to level two. So we set this up last night. And I think... I, I think like we're, like we're level one, one. Then we're going to move to level two, one. And then we're going to move to level three, one. And we're just going to keep on moving through like that. So let's, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab what we can. We're going to... Oh, he didn't grab it. We're going to grab what we can. We're going to pick some blueberries as well. If we get in any trouble with wolves, we're going to be able to eat those those blueberries to be able to fill our health up a bit. Let me grab that. I wish there was a way... Oh, we got some blueberries over here. I wish like I could tell them to double tap and run over here and then click grab. Like, before he gets there, just to, like, line up items in a queue. You can't, you can't do that, though. Oh, you can fast forward, though. I didn't know that. Okay. So now we're going to be on level 2-2. Two, two. 
Let me grab these. Grab these. Grab these. Dude, that, that fast forward is, is game changing, dude. Gonna be able to get them all the way over here. Let me take a look at what's inside here. I'll take all of that. Looks good to me. Looks like we're gonna wanna keep going this way. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit nervous. It says we don't wanna go that way. Danger, uh-oh. Your boy's middle name is Danger. All right, let me, let me get this. Can I equip that? There we go, okay. Just, just to make sure. Go ahead and grab these. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit, a little bit nervous here. Woo, I see some bones and stuff. Oh, dude, I'm getting some hair standing up on the back of my neck here. There's another lover. Oh, he doesn't look that tough. Your first fight's about to start. Click on the wolf to attack it. Hold left control to block the wolf attacks. Move away to dodge him. Use your bat and fight. Good luck. Ooh. Just go out all out offensive. He's already down. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, shoot. Oh, we got the big daddy wolf. Just keep going. Holy cow, is that everything? Oh my goodness, dude, we are we are not in good shape right here. Okay, that was not the most exciting fight in the world, let's be honest, but hey, it was also a, a little a little scary. So I'm gonna eat some of these. Don't mind me. Let me go ahead and grab this. I would imagine, I mean, this is level two. I would imagine level three is gonna get a bit, a bit more difficult. Let me open this up. Dude, that was sick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take all that. Looks good to me. Is there anything in here we can grab? Nope. And it looks like this is her house. Let me see what this is. Inspect this. Is this some sort of a knife? Gardening tool or a torture device? I don't trust the cute daisy painted on it. Okay. Let's go inside. And I think we might have the, the seeds that we need to be able to start our underground garden now. She said we had access to everything in here. So I'm going to inspect this. Growing box. Somehow I have a feeling these are not only decorative plants. Got a TV here. Nothing worthwhile on TV since the plague. Only news about successes of government. Bro, I swear it's talking about 2021. Looks like we've got a little bag of seeds here, hopefully. Go ahead and grab these. We can inspect the bed. What a small cabin you have, said little prep riding hood. I'll grab that. Let me grab these. Oh, we have we have bags all over the place. We want to pick up all of these. We just oh, see, there was a hidden one back in there. Okay, let me oh. Dude, some of these are blending in. I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy to, to see them. Grab that, are we missing any? I feel like we're playing Where's Waldo or something. Can inspect that. I'm thinking we head out of here. Let's go ahead and get out. All right, time to go back home, fellas. Oh, there she is. How you doing, Grandma? Appreciate you. Oh, hello, Daisy, me and Bob are thank you for defeating the big bad. I hope you didn't get hurt. Bob is a plant. Please don't call me whatever. You're welcome, and no, I'm fine. All right, so Ginny's been unlocked. Now we're going to be able to trade with Ginny whenever we need it. My sweet little home and workshop back. I'd like to get back to my little cooking experiments. Many of my friends in this town suffer from certain sleep issues. A nice old lady as I am want to help. I'm trying out various ingredients for an herbal tea. Curious kind of mushrooms grow in the old mine just outside of town. Could you bring me some of those? I have a hunch that they're going to fit. Interesting. Okay. Made a friendly soul there. So we unlocked a new area of the, the, the game. We're going to be able to go to the mine if we want to. That's kind of interesting. Do this, I, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I I did not realize this game was going to be as, as in-depth as it is. Let's go ahead and head over here. And so I'm going to use it to go on back home. So we've got corn seeds, cabbage seeds, carrot seeds, orange seeds, sunflowers, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and drop all of this stuff off. Looks pretty good. We also put our lever in there now. That we've got our, our five soil patches here. Is there anything else we want to drop off? I mean, honestly, here in the fridge, we should probably put all of our food in there. I'm going to deposit what we can. Beautiful. Now we're going to go down to our uh, our workbench down here. I think maybe maybe grabbing, grabbing our workbench here and picking that up is going to be a good thing. Let's keep placing these. We can plant. It only wants seeds. Let's, let's do a carrot seed. I'm gonna plant a corn seed. 
I need a planter for this. Okay, so we can't do a, a corn. We can't do an orange. We can do beets though. So different different things obviously take different whatever. Cabbage we should be able to do. And then let's see what else should we plant here. Sunflowers can't do that. So let's do our other let's do our other cabbage here. So let's go ahead and plant that. So it's saying that it's gonna need light and it's gonna need water. Let me go up top here. Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this this cup. I'm gonna receive some water. Oh, so we've got five water now. So we're gonna be able to come down here and we're gonna be able to water it. Ah, and then this one's getting sunlight because the light bulb is over next to it. But obviously the other ones aren't aren't getting much light. So we're gonna need, is there anything else? What is that? Got bowls and stuff over here. Hold on, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go outside. We're gonna have to go to bed by three. Let's, let's just remember that. Let me put my 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 thing out here, my workbench, and let's see what we can do here. So if we take this bowl, we're gonna be able to disassemble this. I'm gonna say let's let's grab another bowl over here too. Let me grab this. Come back over here. We're gonna be able to disassemble that as well. And then we're gonna be able to craft, hopefully, ooh. Hopefully people aren't noticing us at night here. I'm gonna craft uh, four wall lamps here. And we're gonna be able to put those downstairs in the thing. Obviously it's really kind of hard to see right now. It did, I'm pretty sure before it said that we had to go to bed by three. Okay, let me grab this. We should go to sleep. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Don't you worry about it. Bring it back downstairs. Let's take a look in here. So I'm gonna set up a light on each, oop, it didn't set. Gonna set a light on each thing. Got them all nice and lined up there. So we, I mean, we're obviously gonna have to expand. We we could kind of continue, shoot, I don't even, to be honest, I don't even know how all this works. I, I think we need we need to, to build each one. Need to go to bed or a short nap, shoot. Okay, we're, we're really, really tired. Our preparedness is gonna start going down. We're, we're gonna have to worry about that later, but obviously we're gonna be able to eventually put like another ladder to be able to go down. We can put our workbench in that next level. We're gonna be careful because we can't leave our workbench outside. We don't want big government to be able to see that or anything like that, but it does look like we have a somewhat sustainable food source starting here. I don't know if, if we're gonna be able to survive off of beets and cabbages. But we've got to start here. So you guys kind of you kind of see how how this is going. There you guys have it. I mean that's that's kind of a start, dude. This this game is more in depth than I thought, and I I know it gets crazy when you get underground down here. You can build rocket silos. You can have generators. You can have all kinds of weird stuff happening. Like obviously this is this is just the start here. So let me know what you guys think. I mean it, it it's it's interesting. It, it's it's a weird game. It's fun. It's a bit different. Oh, what is this over here? We have. A newspaper? Truest, most relevant information. Don't mix, miss out on our weeks of truth. That's funny. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I guess we can grab it, but I don't. I don't actually need that. We're just gonna pretend. We're gonna pretend like we're actually reading it. But um, yeah, interesting game, different, odd. I, I mean, it's kind of fun. If you guys want more of this, I'm down. I, I, I don't know how well this is gonna do here on the channel, but uh, if you guys enjoy it, then uh, give me a, you know, pale president salute down in the uh, the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.